a swift code is a number that identify banks and other financial institutions around the world the code is also called a bank identifier code bic and represent what a bank is and where it is located you get it i repeat it represents what a bank is and where it is located swift stands for society for worldwide interbank financial telecommunication the one the, where it's marked with red society for commercial interbank financial telecommunication now what is the use of the swift code yes now the swift code or the big code look at where i have shaded with the purple so the big code it is used to identify banks and the financial institutions globally it sees who and where they are it is a sort of international bank code or id now let me give you an example let's say you want to send a letter from one county to the other you'll need the address and also the postal code so the address it will show you the location of the place then the postal code will give you the town where you are sending your letter now the same way the swift code it shows you the country where you are sending the the money to and a specific place let's say you are in kenya and you want to send money to usa or in china you'll need this code imagine without this code special code you cannot be able to send money in inter countries let's say from kenya to uh, let's say morocco so that is the use of the swift or big code and now i want to show you the format of the big code or the swift code so that whenever you reach somewhere and you need to use it you'll be familiar with okay let's go now look at the format that is here a swift code is 8 to 11 characters and identifies the title of the bank you're sending money to the country that it is the location and the branch of the bank or other financial institution an example of a swift code is aaa b b c c one two three here is the component of the swift code the first one is the bank code there are always four you see where i've painted a rectangle the rectangle four letters representing the title of the bank usually it is uh, it is shortened from the bank's name so that one is the first one the other the it is followed by the country code two letters representing the country or of the bank let's say i'm in kenya my country code will be k e because you can see it's supposed to be two letters the other one it is location code two characters or letters or numbers that represent the location of the banks and quarter let's say it is in nairobi mine will have n a which is nairobi then the branch code it is the three letters representing the branch of the bank wherever it is located in that branch much you know that simple that is the format of the swift code or b i c code and you may ask 
who uses the swift code is it used locally or how do i use it now let's read here banks may ask businesses or individuals who want to send or receive money to or from other countries for a swift code we said if i am ke in kenya and i want to send money let's say in morocco or in nigeria or in usa i will need the the swift code let's continue international transactions are secure accurate and efficient businesses that export goods and services overseas may use swift code often since they are receiving payments from abroad individuals who send money to families in other countries also use swift codes if you order imported goods and services from other countries you can use swift code to ensure your payment is going to the right place imagine so if you if you want to send money in intercontinent from africa to australia or to north america then you can surprise someone only something that you need it is the swift code sometimes if you want to get the swift code of a certain bank just go to their website you check it you see it there or you can just go to the bank and ask them their swift code then you can be able to do your international transfers in conclusion do you need a swift code the answer is yes yes if you are sending or receiving money to or from a foreign country you probably need a swift code if you are sending or receiving money to or from a country in eurozone you need the iban check with your bank to find out all the information needed to make an international payment i hope this video have been very helpful to you and you've got what you wanted to know thank you friends for watching remember to subscribe below for more of tutorials we are making to end your kids many many of the people in the world and also remember to give us the thumbs up thank you remember to subscribe